So luckily, I found an effects chain I had saved off called Flying High Again. Um, it doesn't really sound that much like like it. I mean, just to strum a chord. It, plus, I'm detuned. Uh, three frets is always make it easier on, on my fingers. <laughs> So anyway, that's the sound. Um, you know. Whatever. Um, um so I thought I would just show you each of the components that I got in this effects chain. Right now, I don't have the uh, Reaper reverb going because it's too CPU intensive and I would get lag and I couldn't even play because it'd be like coming out a second later. But I've got extra reverb in the mix, but I'll show you what that's set to. So you gotta have Reaper, um, you want that reverb uh, you also have to have guitar rig 4 uh, and some kind of uh, procedural reverb like arts acoustic reverb which I've got in there too and um, some EQ I don't think there's there may be some there may be some delay in the in the guitar rig settings I'm not sure I have to get in there and look So it's not, you know, it's it's a decent sound starting point. Call it a starting point. I'm not sure this is exactly the way it was because I don't have the original Reaper file, um, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. uh, let me stop this nonsense and we'll just like do a just video of my TV and then I'll just show you the effects uh, and the order that I have them in uh, let me pull my chair over and uh, adjust this camera so you can see um, is it still recording? okay I don't know how well you're going to see this but anyway, I'll just do a quick thing. So I have, the pitch shift is to get me back up to standard. I detune three frets, so that's just there to get me back up. In this case, it was two for some reason. Compression is set thusly. You can just, you can see it. I don't have to go through everything. There's the compression. So that's what happens first. A little bit of compression just to make everything, you know, jump out. If I hit something too soft, it'll be louder because I'm compressing. And then here is uh, probably what you're mainly interested in, is what are the amp and the distortion pedal and all this crap. So I have some noise reduction first. That's just to mute the, the, the guitar noise coming from the guitar. Then I've got a gate on guitar rig too. Then I have a tube screamer set thusly. You can see it. Uh, then I got all of that going into this Marshall Plexi thing set thusly. And you see the Variac setting and the whatever that thing is. Sponginess and response and bias. So there's those, but I don't have that on. I'm using ultrasonic. So I probably use this instead of the Marshall. So there you see those settings and the settings there. And then a little bit of chorus. And then the control room settings. I just have these two mics up. 
with the vintage 412 V2 cabinet. Uh, a delay. All right. And then I do have some studio reverb set for the this uh, kind of a little bit large room. Then some little bit of delay here. All right, so and then and then after that, I this is very important. This EQ, so I EQ it like that. I take a lot of the lows out, take a bunch of like two point five k out, a little bit of one whatever, one point two k, uh, and then I really boost the nachos out of five k, and then I I do a high shelf, or you may call it a low pass filter. Uh, let's see these settings for that. So it's basically uh, change arms because my hand, my shoulder is now destroyed. Um. So okay, that's a a a a, a very very hard sloping low pass filter. So basically, I'm chopping off a bunch of the sound after about oh I don't know eight k seven k. And I'm starting to roll off all that fuzzy high end. And that helps keep it from sounding too fuzzy. Um, high shelf is what Reaper calls it. So there's that. Um, and then after that, I have... Uh, oops, I did... Where's undo? I, I have to do control Z. Hang on. Okay, so after the EQ, I've got Arts Acoustic Reverb, and it's set like that. It's just a, a strong reverb. Kind of a small room. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. And then um, this reverb, I've got Reaper Reverb, which is a convolution reverb. It's an ambient, it's a large ambience, and that's what's giving it that small echoey sound, like there's like it's in a, a hard floor room, you know. Uh that's what's giving it that sound. Which you didn't hear when I was playing because I couldn't have it on because it saps too much CPU. Then the EQ, another EQ, uh which did I really need that? Anyway, it looks like I'm rolling off a lot of lows and highs, but I'm not sure if I really had that on or not. I wish I had the Reaper file. But anyway, this at least gives you an idea. Gives you an idea. If I put all, let's put all of it on, and I'm going to play. It's not going to be in time. It's going to have a huge delay, but at least you can hear the sound I've got with this... Uh, this setting and see if that's even see if that's remotely close to what I had let's take this cord plug it in and just uh, move this huge heavy chair out of the way and see if It's hard to play when you hear the sound a second later. But basically, that's it, I think. See if I can play something. Don't listen to that. I can't do it. I can't play and hear something off off tim. Hi. <clears throat> Later.